I would still say it's still a male dominated field, but women are definitely making their way and putting, putting together a platform for themselves. My name is Ramin. I am an AI product consultant um, over on the East Coast. Uh, basically what I do is my job is to help build AI products end to end. So that entails going from starting out with the business, understanding what their current uh, business problem is, um, you know, how their current operations work and how AI can be brought in to make things better so growing up, um, especially as like a daughter of immigrants, my parents did set certain expectations for what they um, hoped that their kids would turn out to be like. So I think technology was never a thing. It wasn't ever an option. And even when I was um, like, you know, a junior or senior in high school trying to figure out how do I get my college applications ready? Uh, what schools do I want to go to? Tech wasn't ever even something that I considered because it just seemed like it was a boys thing. Um, all of the tech schools that you know were presented to me by my counselor, like had like 70% of the student population was male. I just never thought that I'd be good at math or that I'd be good at coding. So I never even explored it. And I've never seen anyone like a woman in tech at that time, especially one that looked like me. Uh, so it just never really presented itself as an option. Um, when I haphazardly came across the experience of coding, in undergrad, I was surprised by how much I liked it, but I still didn't think that I would be able to pursue it as a career because I had this idea in my head that seems completely insane now that it just wasn't a place for a woman. I don't know, that just sounds crazy, but I just, I had never seen a woman work in tech. I worked a little bit in a uh, blood donation lab. After that, I switched over to HR actually. Uh, so HR was sort of like my non-STEM period. I'm very, very fortunate that my boss um, is someone who looks out for my development. He became aware of the opportunity for the AI and business leaders uh, Udacity Executive Nano degree. He recommended me for it, um, told me, hey, take a look at it, see if it interests you. If so, I'll support you all the way. Um, which I did take a look at it, did some research, and I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. I think this is a skill set that I am still lacking in, and I'd like to be better at it. Before taking the Udacity degree, I wasn't like a full AI product consultant. I couldn't do everything end to end. My specialty was focusing on visualizations. As I completed the degree, I could see and learn and begin to understand about the AI product end to end, because that's exactly what it was teaching me. And that's exactly what I was able to take and implement on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it taught me everything about AI product architecture, again, from starting on the data side all the way to visualization. So I realized that as I got to the end of the certification, I was helping to contribute more to my team by using those learnings that I took from Udacity my role did transform from before the Udacity degree to after the Udacity degree. And now my responsibility does include the full AI product, which I'm super excited for. This field is definitely the field that I belong in. It allows for me to um, be a science nerd, uh, to use my creativity, um, to push the edge of technology and the edge of, of innovation. This is the future. We're living in it right now. And becoming more, uh, what should I say, um, knowledgeable about all these different technologies that we're using from our phones to the websites that we're interacting with, the apps, um, the just technology just everywhere. I think it's definitely time for more people to understand how all of this stuff comes into play and how it affects your day-to-day -day life. I actually do lead a team of uh, developers, um, software engineers, and they're all male. And for the most part, they're all older than me, um, which again is quite quite an interesting experience. Um, the future of STEM is definitely female, and I think the field is all the better for it. <laughs>